to my channel. I am Gigi, your independent Sensi consultant, and I am here with part two of my first haul of 2021. And this one is going to be all about waxes, the new sense of the season that I have gotten. Uh, most of these are mine, and some are for customers. So I will go real quick over the ones that I've had that are like old, you know, past scents. And then I'll talk about the new scents, new smells, and they all have to figure out where I'm going to stash them because I have a lot. So um, from existing scents, I got two of Mickey Mouse and Friends. This is a really nice... Um, fruity scent. I absolutely love it. Um, I won't go into details about this one because there's a lot that I want to talk about. I think, yep, I think that's about it for existing ones. Yes, the, all the other ones are, you know, uh, new ones. And the reason why I am a fairly new Sensi consultant, I mean, I was a customer before, and there's some of these that I haven't tried, so I went ahead and got them just so that I can, you know, uh, enjoy them and figure out which ones are gonna be my, my favorites and things like that. Um, I have here my catalog, this is a must, you guys, so that I can, go ahead and talk about them and the first one i'm going to talk about is a new release and one that i'm currently warming here in my office uh it's coastal sunset this one sensi says it's creamy coconut and sandalwood set the scene for warm amethyst amber and this one is really nice. I normally, I have found that I don't love amber. I want to love it, but I don't love it. However, this is one scent where I smell the coconut quite a bit, and I really, really like that. So I made sure I filled up all my warmers, one, two, three, four warm, five warmers in here with Coastal Sunset. So I got three bars and I have, uh, I used one and I have these two. Actually, I think I got four. I used two and I have these two left. So that's Coastal Sunset. I think I'm gonna have to find a way to separate this. Okay. Uh, Go by the book here. I got two of coral waters. Okay, and for this one, since it says lush nectarine blossom and peony bloom alongside bright clear coral waters. And this is a nice fresh scent. It is in the fresh category, and I can I can definitely smell those aquatic notes on it and the floral from the peony. And nectarine blossoms, because I guess nectarine blossoms is the flower, not the fruit necessarily. So I got two bars of that. Okay, let's see, did I get matte for melon? Trying to go off of the book, I did. Matte for melon, I got two bars. And this one, it's a pretty green. Oh my gosh. I can definitely smell the melon. I can honeydew. Okay, Sensi says, Matt for melon, juicy honeydew melon, fresh from the vine, is adorned with freesia and wild poppy. I do pick up the floral, the floral in it. I'm sorry. Somebody's talking over there really loudly. So I apologize for that. This is really, really nice. I really, really like it. Matte for melon. Very good. Um, let's see. Following here is Magnolia Linen. And there we go. I got a couple of those. Magnolia Linen. 
and I have heard nothing but great things about this one, so I have high expectations. Again, it's in the fresh category. This is laundry to me. It's a pretty laundry scent. Very pretty laundry scent. It says, some washed linen dances in the breeze amid a garden of magnolia and honeysuckle. It's a, it's a very pretty laundry scent with a tinge of sweet in it. Definitely sweeter than the other um, laundry scents that we have. So I think I'm gonna enjoy this one quite a bit and uh, I have to check if they have it in the uh, laundry session because I think I'm gonna like that a lot. Uh, make a splash. Did I get make, yes I did. Make a splash, two of them. And again, in the uh, fresh category, it says dewy melon and fresh green apple dive into refreshing turquoise waters. Oh, this is really nice. Mm. There is a there's a definite freshness to this and a sweetness from the melon and the apple. So it's really, really nice, you guys. I'm gonna enjoy this one a lot. I can tell. Um uh hold hold on for a second. I'll be right back, you guys. Let me um tell them that I'm Making a video right now. Hold on. Okay, hopefully this is better. Um, okay, where was I at? Oh, so make a splash. I already talked about it. Now, now it's my dog. Jesus. I got a Snapdragon, and I only got one. Not sure why. I usually get a couple of the same one, but I got one. This one's kind of light. Oh, Snapdragon, exotic blood orange and sparkling pink pineapple are punctuated by fierce Snapdragon. It's in the fruity category. I mean, it's really nice, but I have a feeling this is going to be on the lighter side. So that's that for Snapdragon. Sand swept. I am currently... Warming this one, as you can see, in my bathroom downstairs. It's a pretty light blue wax. Sand swept. And Sensi says, blue ocean water breaks on the coastline over sandstone, driftwood, and pink lemon groves. It's in the citrus category, and I do smell the lemon. But it's done really nicely, where it's not overpowering. And you could pick up the aquatic notes in it. It's really nice, you guys. Uh, this one, I heard that on cold, it's not too strong, but once you start warming it, it kind of comes alive. So I have high hopes for it because I really like the smell of it. Definitely a good scent for a bathroom. So I'll report back on that. Uh, Sun soaked petals. Did I get that? I did. Here we go. It's a really pretty yellow um, wax. I'm a sucker for the colors, you guys. I really enjoy them. So sun soaked petals. Hmm. It's in the floral category. However, I smell fruity. Newly opened daffodil petals, sunny currant, and water mint flourish in the sun. <sighs> I don't pick up the mint, but I do pick up like a coolness, which I'm assuming comes from the from the mint. This one is hard to describe. Um, again, it's in the floral category. Daffodil petals. I don't know that I've ever smelled daffodils. Maybe that's why. But it's nice. It's really nice. So sun-soaked petal petals, um, two of those, uh, tangerine creamsicle, and I think this is the one that I smell, and I think I'm going to get more, I only got one of it, and I should have gotten more, yeah, I'm definitely getting more of this one, this one is really, really nice, mm. 
is icy tangerine blended with mango and vanilla cream swirl make the sweetest tropical treat. It's in the citrusy category. The, the tangerine comes out pretty good. I'm having a hard time picking up the mango, but I definitely pick up that creamy vanilla in it. And it's really nice, really, really nice. I'm definitely getting more. Why did I get one? I have no idea, no idea. But anyways, vanilla waves. Did I get vanilla waves? I did. And I got two of those, two vanilla waves. Okay, and this one, it's a bakery stand and oh my God. Mm. Okay, Sensi says sea salt and whipped vanilla crash into sticky caramel for an elegant fusion of opposites. I pick up the caramel, you guys, I do, but it's like really nicely done. It's not overpowering and the vanilla is really good I do enjoy vanilla scents I really do my husband not so much but two vessels out for him right <laughs> so this one is really really nice I like it it's bakery and I can't wait let me let me see what else around here Atlantic air yep two Atlantic airs right here and this one is in the fresh category, and it says a refined veil of ocean mist, sea salt, and white orchid. It's really nice. There's this coolness to it, this freshness. It could even be a nice laundry scent, but it's not a laundry scent. But it could be. It's really nice, you guys. It's really fresh and, and just smells clean. It really does. Okay, so we have that. Um, now I saw by the sea, and I noticed I did get one of those by the sea, and this is an existing one. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, the scent of ocean air wafting through dewy seaside grass. Oh, this is perfection. This is so nice, so nice by the sea. Mm. Uh, let's see, I already spoke about Coral uh, Waters French Lavender. I know I got that one because I do love that one and I got myself three of those. I am a sucker for this one. Um, I know some people don't like, so I got three, okay. Uh, I know some people don't like the herbal aspect of the French Lavender. I do. It's, it's a powerhouse. It's soothing for me. It opens up my, my sinuses too. I use it in the bedroom a lot. Um, I, I enjoy it. It's pure herbal fragrance of wild lavender from the hills of France. And that's all there is to it. It's just herbal, nice lavender. So I enjoy this one all year round. And I am so happy it came back. For some reason, it went away. Uh, and it was one that Sensi used to have, I believe, all year round. And then for some reason, come fall time, it went away. And I know that people or consult consultants and customers were like up in arms about it because I don't blame them. I mean, this is a really good go-to scent for me and I can see where it's upsetting when it's no longer there. So French lavender, love it. Let's see, inhale, exhale. I don't think I got one or did I? I did not, I did not, why? Hmm, I did not. Inhale, exhale, I did not get. I did get iridescent pearl though. I got one of that one, iridescent pearl. Also in the fresh category. This one's nice. Lustrous layers of ripe, juicy mango and apple blossom wind down with tranquil water lotus. There is a sweetness to it, definitely. I think I smell more the apple than the mango. But it's, it's nice. It's definitely nice. 
I don't know why I only picked up one. I don't know what I was thinking. Or could it be that that's not mine? It could be that it's a customer. I have to go over my orders and figure it out. Uh, okay, uh, lavender cotton. Right here it is, and I got two of them. Find your magical moment in purple lavender, soft cotton, and daisy blossom. Laundry stand, you guys. This is a really nice one, too. Mmm. The lavender, it's toned down, definitely. A little bit powdery, and I guess that's where the cotton comes in. Uh, but it's a really nice laundry scent for me. By the way, I do have a warmer in my laundry room. I know it's excessive, but I do. And I actually like to melt those waxes in the laundry, you know, the, the laundry type scents. So I enjoy those. Um, I already talked about that. Now and then, I only got one of these ones because for me, it has always performed more on the lighter side than anything. So, I mean, I still enjoy it, but it's one that even on cold is hard for me to like. But it's so nice. So I wanna give this a try again. It's really nice. Perhaps in an enclosed small room, it will work better. So now on Zen. Sunny grapefruit balances coming chamomile in a yin and yang kind of love story. So grapefruit and chamomile. And I think that's, there's a tartness to it, but I think that the chamomile is the one that gives it that nice note. Hmm, it's pretty. I, again, I'm hoping that it works for me. Like I said, I'm gonna try in a smaller room, enclosed, and hopefully it'll perform better. Um, Be Fabulous, right here. I only got one of Be Fabulous. Ooh, this is really nice. Bright limoncello sparkles against a splash of ruby grapefruit and sweet sugared musk. Definitely musky. Fruity. That limoncello is nice because it's there's that lemon uh, aspect to it, but it's like a sweet lemon. I guess like, you know, like the limoncello drink. It's really nice. Really, really nice. I really like it. I, sh I should pick up more of these. I like that one. By the way, that's in the citrus category. Uh, cocoa lime. Yes, I picked up cocoa lime. Got one of that one. Sorry. There we go. Cocoa lime. And here they go again. Jesus. Oh, this is so nice. Sensi says coconut milk and creamy vanilla get energized with a citrusy splash of fresh lime. And I actually do prefer lime to lemon scents. Um, I find they're not offensive. But, um... This is, you know, the type of scent that I like to use in the kitchen, especially, you know, when we cook like uh, foods with like strong odors, they tend to cleanse the environment. And I love coconut everything. So coconut and lime is one of those things that are just a great combination. And you just, it just doesn't get any better than that. And look how pretty that green is. So that's coco lime. Um, Havana Cabana, did I pick up one? Yes, Havana Cabana, I picked up one. I don't know, for some of you, those of you who know me, and those of you who don't know me, I am Cuban, so whenever there is a Havana anywhere, I always pick it up because, you know, it's like a must, and it's nice. It gives me, you know, the idea or the impression that it's going to be something like tropical, like Cuba, and it is, actually. So Havana Cabana says it says luscious medley of pineapples, Oranges, bananas, and berries. I definitely pick up the pineapple and the berries. You said banana? I do not smell the banana. I don't pick up the banana, but I pick up the pineapple and the berries. 
it's actually nice kind of uh, reminds me of pina colada shasha a little bit uh lemon sorbet i have one of that one right here and this is a nice lemon scent a little sweeter than squeeze the day uh since it says fresh cut lemon and grapefruit zest sweetened by sugar cane and i definitely I, I pick up the sugar cane, the sweetness of it, and I actually enjoy um, those uh, waxes that have sugar cane in it. It's just one of those notes that I really, really enjoy, and it makes everything better. So, like a sweet lemon scent, this is really nice. I know I'm going to love it, so I might pick up more of this. I need to write down what I need to pick up more of, but I think for now, I'll use what I have because it's quite a bit. Uh, let's see paradise punch paradise punch I got one again in the citrus category a medley of wild Indian orange and sunny lemon juice acai berries and star fruit and some people were saying that this one smells like fruit punch I don't know it's definitely fruity and citrusy it's nice. I think it would be like a medium. I don't know. I have to try it. The citrus citrus scents actually are pretty good performers. So I'm going to give that one a try. I liked it. I already went over sand swept and tangerine creamsicle. Uh, fruity category. We're going to move on to apricot. Wait a minute. I don't have apricot vanilla? That doesn't make any sense. I guess I don't. Wow. I'm shocked. I did not get any apricot vanillas. Uh, I know that's a pretty light one. I think I did get a couple for a customer and I gave them already to them. So that's probably what happened that I got confused. But... Let's move on from that. Uh, did I get Camu Camu? Yes, I did. I got four Camu Camu. And this is a really pretty orange wax. And this is so nice. I love Camu Camu. That's why, hence why I picked up four. It's tropical oasis of lush mandarin, camu camu, and passion fruit. I don't know what camu camu is, but whatever it is, I like it. It smells delicious. It's very tropical. It's very, I don't know. It makes me hungry almost when I smell this. It's so good. So I picked up four of those. Really enjoy camu camu. Put this back here. I am so... I could have sworn I had some apricot. Anyways, let's move on from that. Um, go go mango. Did I get go go mango? Yes, I did. I got two. Why I don't know because this one's been one that's always uh, perform more on the light side for me, almost like non-existent. However, in my sense, in my sensi, uh, sensi go, I have the. Uh, Go go mango pots and they smell incredible. So I usually like them in the pots more than I do in wax form. But I mean, when I smell them cold, it smells nice. I just wish that it would be more powerful than this, but it isn't. Juicy mango and melon garnished with hibiscus and sweet banana flower. It's a nice scent. I mean, I, I'm just willing to give it a try because I'm hopeful. I have hopes for it. Um, Johnny Appleseed. What was I thinking when I only got one bar of Johnny Appleseed? I do not know. I mean, if you like apples and you want nothing in it but just simply apples, this is the one for you. It's nice. It's... um. It's sweet, it's it's good, it's a great performer too. So 
It's it's owls. That's it. Mm. Just picked Macintosh pops with apple peels and a hint of crisp pear. Don't smell the pear at all. I only smell apple. But it's supposed to be there. It's supposed to have pear in it. It's really good. Matt for melon. Did we not talk about that one already? We did, didn't we? Yes, we did. So let's move on. Mahalo coconut. I got a ton of Mahalo coconut. I have already used. That's what I'm warming around the rest of my house. And it's incredible. It smells great. It's a great performer. Mahalo coconut. Super good. Again, fruity category. It's a best seller. And I can see why. Paradise is only a whiff away with floral Hawaiian lei and violet over fruity, fresh pineapple and coconut. And that's why I think I like it. I love violet, the smell of violets. I love coconut. This is a little bit perfumey. The pineapple is in there, but very nicely done. It's not overpowering. The coconut is not overpowering. So it's just a nice medley of everything. And it's just a good performer. And it smells amazing. Highly recommend Mahalo Coconut. I think I must have gotten like five of those. Okay. So peach nectar. That's the one I got. Okay. I got four peach nectars. Also pretty wax. This is so funny. Found it. I was like, why are the oranges different? Because this is peach nectar and this is apricot vanilla. We'll talk about it. Right now, peach nectar. So I got three instead of four. And oh, so good. Mm, delicate peach skin and blue freesia settle into a bed of billowy musk clouds. It is musky and peachy. I just wished the peach would come through more. Um, I don't think I remember how this one performs. So that probably means it's not a very good performer. But I could be wrong. I will report back on it. I, I can't wait. I, I like peach smells. So I'm definitely going to do that soon. Apricot vanilla. I only picked up one again because I know this one is more on the light side of things for me. So this one is heirloom peach, apricot and vanilla ice cream. Tempt fate and everyone else. One of Heidi's favorite. Oh, this is so nice. I don't smell the apricot. I smell vanilla, you guys. Like a pretty vanilla. This could almost be a bakery. But I know it's not because it's in the fruity category. But that vanilla creamy ice cream situation is great in here. So... I mean, again, I'm going to try to give it a chance. And I just wish it was just strong because I, I like that. I like him to hit me in the face like there's no tomorrow. But anyways, piña colada chacha. Got two of piña colada chachas. Okay, and this one smells just like a piña colada. I mean, there's no way around it. I like coconut and zesty pineapple lead. Lead. White rum and vanilla beans follow. Never mind. Let me say that again. Island coconut and zesty pineapple lead. White rum and vanilla bean follow. <laughs> it's not boozy, but it's definitely being a lot of you guys. I mean, it's really nice. It's one that my daughter enjoys a lot. So. I get that one for her. Pineapple pucker. Did I get pineapple pucker? Apparently I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, no pineapple pucker. Move on. Prickly pear and agave. 
And I got that one here. I got one only. Pretty wing green wax. This is nice and perfumey. Prickly pear and agave are sweet as a dessert sunset behind a dreamy veil of sheer petals. It's nice. If I remember correctly, this one was not a good performer, but I mean, on cold, it's pretty strong. So I'll try it again and see what happens. Rainbow Sherbet, two of those. And this was one that I really, really like on the samples. So I have high hopes for that one. Mm, yes. This one says, it's a classic orange zest, sugared strawberry, and key lime zing, just like the real thing. It's really good. I really like this. I can definitely smell the strawberry in there. A little bit artificial, but hey, nevertheless, strawberry, so. Rainbows and butterflies. Right here. I got one of those, rainbows and butterflies. It's nice. I can barely smell it on cold. Hmm. Live the fantasy with fresh strawberries, pineapple juice, and vanilla citrus. It's citrusy. I don't smell the vanilla at all. It's nice and soft. So I just think this is gonna be like a light to medium performer. So we'll report on that, but it's a nice smell. Okay. Um, strawberry rose. Right here, strawberry rose. Got two of those. Mmm, interesting. Hmm. Sensi says sweet blend of mouth watering strawberries and a, and soft rose petals with a touch of sheer musk. And I like I love musky scents and strawberry scents. This is really pretty. I think I'm gonna like this one in the bathroom or in my room. Mm, really pretty. Well done, Sensi. Sugared strawberry. And I got two of sugar strawberry. This is like a pretty pink. It's not red. It's like a, I don't know, nice pink. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. Mmm, a blend of luscious strawberries, juicy currants, and California sun-kissed lemons. This is really nice, you guys. Mmm, I have to try this because this might be nice enough for me to put it in my club. I don't know. My club is getting out of hand. Getting out of hand. Watermelon tangerine. I picked up one. And I don't know why I picked up one, because this is really nice. Sensi says, sweet watermelon slices spiked with juicy tangerine and dewy greens. I pick up the melon, the tangerine a bit. Really good. Pretty orangey pinky wax too. Uh, let's see. Did I get Aloha Citrus? I did not. Um, this one I picked up because my grandma loves it. It's lilacs and violet powerhouse, you guys, powerhouse. I have to put like one cube of this in my grandma's warmer. She loves it and it smells really good. It doesn't smell bad, but it's super strong. It doesn't smell bad to me because I love violets. However, I feel like this is one of those scents that either you love it or you hate it because it's strong and it's flory, flor, <laughs> flowery. Anyways, lilacs and violets, perfect combination of lilacs and violets, the smell of spring. 
and it is. I mean, it's nice, but it's strong, strong. This one lasts and lasts and lasts. So that's lilacs and violet. So I picked up one for my grandma because I'm nice. I picked up, and by the way, floral category. I picked up uh, three hibiscus pineapples. Just showing you two. Pretty pink wax. And this one is so nice. So nice. Hibiscus pineapple and a touch of sweet mandarin tell an enchanting tropical tale. It's nice, flowery, a bit of fruity. So nice. Mm, really good. So I got three of those. Uh, here comes the sunflower seed. I guess not. Here comes the sunflower. Pretty yellow wax. So you can see, I got two of those. And this one is a best seller. Oh, so pretty. <sighs> this is a good bathroom scent. And office, and everywhere else. Really good. Sun kiss petals and fruity musk celebrate all things spring with a sweet pop of strawberry. <laughs> don't pick up the strawberry. I don't know what the heck I pick up, but it's so good. I, I think I pick up daisies for some reason, but um, really nice. Definitely going to try that. I think, oh, no, no, I'm not done. I picked up three bars of My Hero. I absolutely adore this scent. It's a manly scent. It's a, it's a good Medium to high perform myrrh, but like I find, for example, that Jade and Jasmine is a little stronger than this one. It doesn't matter, you guys. It's so good. It's man's cologne, and it's incredible. It's cool citrus and white birch ride a current of crisp air, and it's fresh, and it's woodsy, and it's incredible. And it smells like a man. I like it. So three of those. I got satin sheets. Three of those because I love satin sheets. Mm. Sensual and earthy sandalwood perfectly paired with rich, warm vanilla. And that's all there is to it. Sandalwood and vanilla and it's so freaking good. Oh, so, so good. Would like this in a in a laundry um, scent too, but it doesn't smell laundry, but it, it will be good. So my phone has been going off the hook today, all day. I'm so tired of it. Anyways, so Bonfire Beach. I know I picked up one of those right here, and I immediately regretted it because I needed more of this. Oh, this is so nice. It's toasted marshmallow smoldering over white flint and sandalwood, harmonized with salty sea air and ocean spray. And what is that candle from Bath and Body Works? That's, um, is it marshmallow fireside or something like that? A dupe. This is a dupe of that. It smells so good. When I, when I tried this, it automatically reminded me of that candle. And I haven't had candles here in a while. I think I should... I start trying them out little by little. I had an incident here where my house almost catch fire for because of a candle on my dog. And it was the scariest thing. And that's when I completely, I mean, I was already a Sensi consultant, but that's when I completely turned to just Sensi and waxes and warmers. Uh, but I think I'm going to start picking up some candles and trying to find like dupes for it within Sensi. Just so I can tell you guys, because this to me, it's marshmallow, marshmallow fireside. It's so good. I am gonna get so many more of these. Not even funny. So let's see. <sighs> okay, I got from the licensed bars. I got originally two of the oh boy Mickey Mouse. And I mean, should I say oh boy? Anyway, so I got two, and I loved it so much. It performed great for about a couple days, 
and then it started in like paste out but I liked it so so much that I went and picked up four total so mm. yeah this one is a citrusy um, scent and it says in honor of a true original Juicy grapefruit, cheerfully mixed with bright clementine and sugared vanilla is one of a kind, just like Mickey Mouse. And it's delicious in every sense. And I love it. Then I picked up a Totally Mini. And I have not worn this one, but I can already tell this is going to be a weak one for me. It's a nice smell, but on cold... Does not compare to, oh boy, still still really nice. Like the bottom of it, I don't know if you can see, it was kind of getting juicy. It's a nice smell though. So this is a new one as well. It's in the fruity category. It's part classy and part sassy. That is so cute. This sweet blend of pink melon, hibiscus blooms, and juicy apple is full of fun and totally mini. And I want to warm this so that I can't, because, you know, like, you know, one, one of the ones that I have been pleasantly surprised was the sand swept one. Um, and I heard that, that on cold is kind of like not too strong. And then all of a sudden is you can smell it really well. So I don't know. I will report on that. I have it currently like warming in my bathroom. And I'm hoping that this is kind of like the same deal, like on cold, not as strong. And then when you um, actually warm it, it's nice. So I have hopes for that. I have one last one, I believe. And this one is summer holiday. And why did I not see that? Summer holiday. So I got one of that. And it says, steal away to a sunny isle bursting with lush plumeria, tiger lily, and sweet orange, softened by vanilla and radiant amber. It's another one that has amber, but I do love plumeria. Mm. This is really nice. <sighs> Not too strong. I want to pick up more. Come on. Mmm, this is really nice. I smell the vanilla. I'm not sure what tiger lily smells like, but if it's like this, it smells great. <laughs> Sweet orange. I mean, it's a really, really good scent, you guys. Summer holiday. So, that is all, I think, for now because I will be going back and picking up more of the ones that I didn't pick up a lot of. So, um, I mean, I have so many warmers that I do get a lot of wax, but I do use a lot of wax. Um, so like I said, I think I had like, I don't know, five of Mahalo coconut and I'm left with two. So, um, the ones that I just picked up one, I just either wanted to retry them or try them for the first time and just uh, experience them, them before I actually went and got more. Um, there are some that I just absolutely loved from the get-go, and that was the Oh Boy, Satin Sheets, Camel Camel, uh, My Hero, etc., and the Lavender, obviously. I mean, I, I love Lavender. So, I don't know. I have a lot of warming to do. And I'm okay with that. So pretty soon I will be doing another video on my empties because I have a whole bin that's like ridiculously full already. So I will make that uh, pretty soon. And that's it. That's it for now. So there you go. That was my haul of these um, year 2021. Uh, and um, there are going to be many, many more to come. But anyways, for now... That was good. So I'm excited to warm all of these new scents. And yeah, I mean, there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, go ahead and click subscribe and like at the bottom of the video. And 
I'll see you next time for more Sensi. And yeah, have a good one. Bye, guys.